What up y'all and welcome back to another one. Very special video. First clients are in. Uh, they had their first hunt this morning that y'all are about to watch. I was not on it. I had to get in the old truck and get to scouting them birds which I'm glad I did because I found some really good stuff. Before we get into it, guys, Ducks Waterfowl is doing a 30% off uh, November 3rd through the 6th. All you have to do is use code DUCKS30 at checkout, okay? Very simple. November 3rd through the 6th, use code DUCKS30 at checkout to receive 30% off everything, anything on the site. Everything, everything. Duck calls, you name it. Very special morning, uh, not only Jeremy, but the other three clients. We only got four clients in. Uh, I wanted to keep it small, manageable, because it's warm. We don't have the normal amount of migration here yet, so I just keeping it safe, you know what I mean? You saw and shot your first specs. Hell no. yeah, I did. <laughs> Hell yeah, I did. <laughs> Everybody lemming it out on specs, all four guys this morning, and they shot some pintails. So we're gonna go in the lodge, uh, but before we do that, you all are gonna watch the hunt, and then you're gonna come back in the lodge with me. It sounds like they have quite the party going on in here. You haven't been on a video yet. You're not here. this season. I'm all here. the way from I'm, Texas again. I'm back. You are back. I'm back and could not be happier. You're right a now. fat, happy cat dude, right now. Fatter, fatter, happier cat than possible. <laughs> I mean, it, is. it smells good. What do oh, you got dude, going on? Back in action. So yeah! basically smothering some chicken thighs right now. It's kind of just like a like a pretty generic Cajun dish. Oh. So basically that's chicken thighs. I got a roux, celery, bell pepper, and onions, and basically I get get the get the roux set, and then I I brown the chicken thighs, and I put them back in the sauce, and just let it braise for like 45 minutes or so. Oh my gosh! And it's like fork tender, serve uh, it over rice. Oh, and so over I, rice, huh? Oh, oh yeah, buddy. Oh yeah. Uh, so this, this is, is what you were talking about. Oh yeah, this is up the A2 Fay Alley. You know, it's kind of oh. it's it's different but similar. Uh -huh. And so and. I think this is going to be killer with either goose or duck. Like, oh, it's the same specs. Oh yeah, and exact, basically the exact thing I'm doing right here, but with some with some waterfowl. I think it's going to be. Oh boy, tough I, can't, to beat. I cannot wait for that one. Oh yeah. Dude, hey, can... what are we doing over here? Flying Who's winning? I am, but I think I'm about Ooh, to lose this hand. Bad. Oh. oh. Playing 31. 
Oh, you're playing 31? Yeah. So I'm now I, play I get to do it again. With shotgun shells. Makes it, makes oh, it interesting. Oh, you're betting shotgun <laughs> shells. Everybody brought their own shells out? <laughs> yeah. There we Those go. Are the chips. Yeah, Keeping no. it legal, boys. Keeping it legal. Yeah. What are you guys doing over here? I'm getting beat by Harper. <laughs> she really is beating me. Harper Lynn. She's already got him down here. <laughs> you're really like, what the heck? I mean, I'm getting there, but she's, she's making some good dang moves. <laughs> Man, on top of that, she helped me with the smothered chicken earlier, oh, stirring my veggies. You know, oh. she, she did a great job, man. Such a good helper. Harper Lloyd, look at her. She is in the mode. Dude. Gotcha. What were you doing? Just ran the marathon. <laughs> 10 miles. What are you guys doing over here? Just playing a game. Oh, oh get it, Dukas. There you go. Shoot it, Mom. Shoot it. Oh, a little high, Mom. A little high. Haha. -ha. One of them brought me some goodies. 20 gauge shells. Some boss. And check it out. We got gear back in the lockers, boys. It is actually here. And it feels so good for it to be back. Cuss. Cuss. I mean,. On the podcast here in a little bit. Yeah. Are we doing one tonight? Yeah. It'll be the first podcast of the season with all the boys. Aaron, you need a first aid kit in the morning, I'm pretty sure. Every day. It does not I'm, have dude wipes in it. I would. What? Here, let me fix that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we only buy ones with dude wipes. Uh, so a water hunt in the morning. You're not going? I gotta edit and scout and oh take gosh. take uh, Aaron back to the airport. Well, if you could just get the editing and stuff done, then you could just go and then leave early with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This will be an easy video. Yeah, and I don't have any of my rain gear. Here yet. How many you got, or how many more you want? Oh, okay. Okay. So in the morning we're uh, hunting. Girls, yeah, McGanzer feed only. Uh, we're hunting uh, a lot of wood ducks, some gadwalls, some mallard. Uh, it's on a big pond, this Gerald's pond. We call it the old tree pond. Um, and there were some candidates in there today. So, gonna look good. I think we're just gonna sit on stools next to a tree without a blind tomorrow. We're gonna do a traditional, like actual duck hunt. And you're not gonna go? Dude. It's gonna be raining and shooting ducks. Like it's raining all day tomorrow. It should be good. Anything to add to? Oh man, I just got premature. I got excited. We're at the beach. We need to go for a nice little tight hunt. <laughs> Dude, I, have I mean, we got like, why not though? Like, it's all set up. Got little ducks, big ducks, a couple no geese. Wood duck. Can you have wood duck decoys? Yeah, you got a wood duck call though. Isn't I do. Do you know how, can you blow it? Oh yeah, you were down in Arkansas for a oh, bit. Oh dude, you do have wood duck decoys? <laughs> Actually, I don't. Well, I, it's, I, I, I don't me. think I do. Fire. I think they're all dude, widgeon, yeah. gadwall, and pintail. Yeah, he's got uh, widgeon and gadwall that are a little smaller. You might trade a trade a, string. Uh, okay. Trade a mallard string out for those. You have so. an awesome relationship with this guy, right? With this pond. Uh. Pretty good with this one. Uh, the one that you heard me talking to for like 40 minutes. Okay, the other, so that's where I got confused. That's, yeah. He's the connection there. Gotcha. Like that connection in that area is the connection. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that took uh, took some time. But this pond, like you guys are hunting tomorrow. I'm scouting. But mm -hmm. uh, it took me like five years to get. Oh, it's in his phone. Gerald 2, Aaron 0, Bob and Preston 0. Oh, my God. <laughs> you are not keeping track. I am yes, keeping track. Is. Yes. Yeah. It's happening. I found it though. It's like a yeah, that, point five, point five for yeah, It people. doesn't matter who has. It's if who he can get it. Found it. Well, no, it's no. who can get it. I can go show you a whole shit ton of birds. Doesn't mean I found them or I can hunt them. <laughs> okay, so go look at like Leon and there's birds on it. So I get the point. I can go get ground on Leon at no, my but, place. No, at you place, go look at the he, yes, you get it. Yes, what you used your fuel and your idea to go do it, but it's his ground. No. There's got to be a split That's there, but without, This is a team oh, effort. I'm not, well, <clears throat> I know. This video has been jumping around a lot. But it's kind of what happens when I don't go on the hunts. Uh, I scout it. 
And uh, thank goodness I didn't go on that hunt because I found some awesome stuff. Got some more ground, met some new farmers, got some new phone numbers. That stuff has to be done. So uh, today was our second guided hunt. Yes, I made an entire video. And yes, we shot our first band of the season on the second hunt of the season. How amazing is that? And on top of it, it was a wood duck band. You're gonna have to wait for the video. It should be out Sunday. I'll try to get it up Sunday for sure for y'all. Uh, but it thunderstormed, thunderstormed. It rained, thundered, lightning on us all morning. The temperature at, I would say 3 a.m. last night was like 66 degrees with a south wind and warm. While we were sitting up, it switched out of the north and here come the rain. And, it, and the rain picked up and picked up and picked up and thunder and lightning and we kept shooting birds. It was amazing. You got to watch it. You got to see where this uh, wood duck is from. I've never shot any type of banded bird from this area, from this state. It's one of y'all state that a lot of you watch from. A bunch of you live in this state. So you got to watch it. Extremely special hunt. Um, but I banned in the first two days and uh, tomorrow will be the client's um, last hunt and we have some we spotted some bands in the feed let's put it that way so we're gonna try to keep the band train going and uh, provide them hopefully uh, a goose band tomorrow or a couple so I didn't get to interview the clients yet but we did on on the next video on the duck hunt so uh, it'll be a farm pond duck hunt uh, me and Fred absolutely awesome traditional we just sat by trees no blind amazing it was it was a lot of fun so i worked my butt off for that we are freezing i want to go back inside i'm cold to the bone i've been wet all morning so um i'm, I'm just on cloud nine i'm on cloud nine uh this weather that's come in that a lot of you are experiencing thank goodness last night at midnight um flocks of mixed lessers and specks at midnight uh the boys said this morning because they got out earlier than me that was probably they got out of the house at like five um he said we couldn't count the the number of specks it's still dark out specks and lessers rolling at 5 a.m migrating in because of how cold this northern push is so Long story short, we got new birds and we got a ton of new birds on the way. The migration is completely underway here in the States. Thank goodness the Midwest is getting birds as we speak. We're loading up. It's about to get better and better and better and better. So we got water. We have water. Uh, you, might, you guys might be getting some field duck hunts because we're gonna have uh, sheet water in the field. And, and I'm pretty sure that we just got sheet water. Check it out. Yes, sheet water in a lot of the fields, right? So it's like a perfect storm. Um, it happened at the right time. We were dry, 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 dry. We haven't got the migration. And then right at the right time, we got a ton of rain and more on the way uh, this evening and tonight and tomorrow. But we already have sheet water in the fields. So what, what I'm trying to get at is it's gonna, it's gonna come to a head. So the migration is gonna get here, lots of new ducks. And hopefully, hopefully, we'll have some field duck hunts because of that sheet water. So, cross my fingers, I am so cold right now. It is, I bet you, 35 degrees, 33. So, it's getting cold quick. Sorry this video jumped around a lot. I have been so busy getting ready for the clients to come in. Um, I wasn't able to go on the hunt. I'm not gonna be on all the hunts this year. It's gonna be a big difference this year. Just like today, I ran my dog, I called, I called the shots. Um, I made sure all the, all the birds were picked up, you know. I did my job and uh, I'm putting down the gun a lot more, filming better videos, okay, and running better dogs, right? Doing a better job at running my dogs, let's put it that way. So it's a good year, I'm really happy. Um, everybody out here is on cloud nine. Uh, the clients, they're, they're loving it. They are loving it and so am I. Be expecting the next one to be an absolute banger because I'm telling you it is. We are in the hot seat now and uh, lots of good hunting videos to come. I give my tips all the time. I show my spreads all the time. I get that it didn't happen on this one, but P. Diddy was out by himself. Big shout out to Jeremy 
Follow Jeremy Zettler Tattooer on Instagram. He's the man, one of my good buddies now. And uh, shout out to him for wearing his, his GoPro. Um, help, helped me a lot, provided me a lot of footage. So Whew. if you're interested in booking a hunt here at Sand Hill, number one, um, we're pretty full. We do have a very, 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 very minimal spots like for one or two people. Uh, excuse me. And uh, what, what you can do is still fill out the inquire to book form at sandhillflyways.com. It's always linked down below. And I can put you on a waiting list in case someone backs out. I can call you and get you in there. And then I can also put you on a call list for next season. So the sooner you get on the call list, the sooner you get the call to book next year too. Because I know there's a lot of you that are interested in next year, not this year. If you wanna make sure you get the spot you want, the month, the day, everything for the as many guys as you want, fill out the booking form, state, hey, Bobby, I want you to put me on the call list for 2023-24. We will get a hold of you and we will do so. And then you'll hear from me um, come spring when, when we start booking for next year. So I wanted to get all that out. I feel great. I'm tired and I'm loving it. We're back. We are back, baby. Baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism. Pessimism.